peninsula located at the southernmost tip of Northeast Asia is Korea, a country of long history and tradition. Seoul, the nation's capital, is conveniently situated at the basin of the Han River, which originates from the Taebaek Mountains that run south to north at the eastern part of the country. Experiencing rise and fall of the nation for thousands of years, Seoul has been growing into an international city of over 7 million inhabitants and the governmental, economic, social, cultural and educational center of Korea. The origin of Seoul goes back to the latter half of the 3rd century when the kingdom of Pekche built a small town called Viresung. The remaining earthen wall at a place called Pungnamri attests to the history. Today's Seoul became the center of the Korean peninsula as Taejo, the first king of the Yi dynasty, picked the place as the capital, and it has since been growing with the nation in the course of long history. In 1394, Taejo moved its court to Seoul, which had favorable geographical conditions for defense. The king had palaces and castles with four large and four small gates built in and around the city. The capital city, however, had to undergo several upheavals during 500 years of the reign of the dynasty. As new civilization dawned towards the end of the Yi dynasty, or in the beginning of the 20th century, the Japanese dominated Korea, and Seoul fell into their hands. On August 15, 1945, as the country was liberated, the streets of Seoul were filled with joy and emotion. later, Koreans had to undergo another trial. Seoul lay in ruins as North Korean communists provoked an illegal surprise attack against the Republic of Korea in 1950. The Korean people, who had inherited the wisdom of overcoming trials and hardship from their ancestors, rose unanimously to reconstruct the city. Following a decade of stagnancy in the 1950s, the nation greeted a period of hope and vitality in the 60s. A modernization drive was launched in Seoul and, in fact, across the country. Based on its tradition of 500 years, Seoul has been developed into an international city. Today, inheritors of old wisdom and sagacity live in Seoul, a city where the modern finds a rare harmony with the old. In the historic city of Seoul, there are many spots which preserve age-old tradition and spirit of Korean ancestors. Centering 
around the capital city of Seoul, a unique culture bloomed in the country, and the indomitable spirit within serenity and dignity was born. In order to help preserve that spirit and to rediscover Korea's original culture to develop a durable national culture based upon this resurgence of the old, Koreans are active in preserving and inheriting assets of historic significance. shrine where the tablets of the Yi dynasty kings are preserved, a worshipping ceremony in Confucian style is observed every year. Such ceremony or rite helps to uphold the morality of the people. citizens of Seoul treasure the old while seeking the new. They adhere to traditional virtues of bowing allegiance to the country and filial piety to the parents. moving, Seoul is active as the nation's metropolis, assuming a wide range of different roles. In terms of scale, Seoul has grown greatly. The city has become the center of international trade as varieties of products produced in and around the city find international markets. It also is the control center of the government, economy, culture, and education in Korea. National Assembly building overlooking the Han River is the center of dialogues between all the Korean people. Seoul is a city of education. There are a total of 900 educational institutions. One out of every four citizens is a student. Korean students are concentrating on their studies, planning to build a brighter future.
of the spirit and in quest of eternity, many soul citizens are following the paths of faith. Of different religions, Buddhism has been taking a role of a major contributor to the development of Korea's national culture. Christianity introduced to Korea together with Western culture and civilization toward the end of the E dynasty played a great role of aiding Korea's independence movement and modernization of the country. A mosque has been built in Korea as Islam found its way to Korea from the Middle East. Along with the growth of the metropolis, housing project is actively underway and commodity circulation structure has been improved for the benefit of the citizens. Medical and welfare facilities are being expanded. In spite of increasing high-rise buildings, an effort is being directed for building a modern city with enough green areas. of Seoul are always pleasant and cheerful, and the young people are especially full of vigor with the promise for boundless future possibilities. Among the games and plays they enjoy are those of traditional nature. So 
all citizens take pride in their unique culture and arts, and they stage various folk games on festive occasions. Quiet and orderly, free and composed. Soul is lively and active. In the modern cultural hall of Seoul, Western as well as traditional music, opera, and dance are frequently performed for the citizens of Seoul. As the four distinct seasons change from one to another in Seoul, breathtaking scenery overlaps each other. When spring comes and migratory birds flock on the Han River, Seoul citizens become ever more lively. After summer is over and autumn comes to Seoul, the hills and mountains in and around Seoul reach the zenith of beauty with picturesque colorful maples and the snow-covered soul in winter is snug and peaceful. Korea has long been known as an isolated hermit kingdom, but her people have opened their heart widely to mingle actively with other peoples of the world. Seoul, the capital of that country, Korea, a city of age-old tradition and modernity, a city of promise, is developing steadily, awaiting for the day to become the capital of a reunified Korea.